Morning folks. So, um, there's no training today. Uh, yesterday went really badly. And, uh, yeah. We don't really want to go through that again. So what we're going to do today is, we're going to do a bit of bacon. Because we're heading out on a longer ride um, later on in the week. Um, so we need to bake up some food for that. And then also, fingers crossed, the weather's looking okay, so we're going to go out just for an easy spin um, today, as, a, as opposed to doing a training ride on the Zwift. Um, so yeah, got to get on with some bacon. Flapjacks, I think I've made them before on the channel, but it's been a while, so I thought I'd make some again for you. We're making a double batch, although we've, we've got the quantities wrong a little bit. So in today's batch, we're using uh, 400 grams of oats, uh, 50 grams peanut flour, 50 grams uh, coconut flour, 60 grams of protein powder, 20 grams of chai seeds, 50 grams of goji berries, and then just warming on the stove, we've got four scoops of Vita Fiber, so it's about 60, 60, 70 grams ish. Um, and then we've got a really good squeeze of honey, it's about a third of a bottle, you know, just a, a sort of 300 ml bottle. Uh, one like this, yeah, 340 grams. Um, other varieties available. So, um, basically mix all the dry ingredients together in a bowl, like this. And then in that saucepan, we've got the Vita Fibre um, and the honey, and we've got 500 mils of water. Um, gentle heat until the water turns from a, 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 a frosty sort of white colour to a clear colour. Once that's done, all the Vita Fibre's uh, dissolved. Mix the two together. Might need to put a little bit more water. You, you gauge that yourself as to, as to how uh, sticky or dry it is. You don't want it too sticky. You don't want it too dry, obviously, because you want to bind all the ingredients together. And then stick it into a pan, like this. Uh, you want to line that pan with, um, first of all, if you, if you cover it with a little bit of, a little bit of butter, and then line it with some uh, baking par uh, parchment. Uh, the reason for the butter is that it just helps the parchment paper stick um, to the dish and then you can line it properly, you don't have uneven bits. Stick it in the oven. Uh, you're gonna need at least 20 minutes, uh, 200 degrees. Just gauge it yourself. When it starts to turn a nice golden brown, take it out, let it cool, and then put it in the fridge. The longer you can keep them in the fridge, the harder they'll set. Gas mark six, as I said, between 20, 40 minutes. We'll check back shortly.
looking good. Um, from that dish, you'll get, so it's probably about a seven by seven dish. You'll get 32 little squares. If you're watching your diet, which most cyclists are, they're not calorie dense. You're about looking at about 90 to 100 calories um, per cube. And then for the rest of the macros, here we go, along the bottom of the screen, you can see what's in them. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's vlog. We've just got to do a little bit of washing up. And then we're going to do a little bit of stretching, relax. Uh, we've got the little boy to pick up from nursery and then we're going to head out on a ride. Fingers crossed. The weather's still looking not too bad. But that's going to be it for today's vlog. So, as ever, if you've liked today's video, please drop me a thumbs up. Very much appreciate your support. Hit the like button, tickle it, smash it. You know the score. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so. Thank you very much to you, those that do. Again, if you're subscribing, use the little notification bell so when new videos go live, you know when they're online. Let's share the video, spread the love. Let's get more of you lovely people into this community. And as ever, I'll see you again soon for some new videos. Right on.